Randy Bimley live now in Detroit with more as the city copes with a surge in violence. Randy. Hey guys, and this young woman sadly is one of the latest victims of it. I'm told that she has a young son and was also her mother's caregiver. The scene where this all happened has been cleared out. The investigation far from over. Family and friends of a 25 year old woman gunned down on the city's east side, wrapping their heads around her untimely death. It happened on the 18900 block of Beeland Street around 515 Wednesday evening. Officers in the immediate area heard some gunfire. Uh, we're just south of Seven Mile on Beeland. Uh, responded to that area, found a female shot multiple times in the street. Uh, of course, request EMS, try to help her out, but unfortunately she was deceased. In addition to the 25 year old woman, he was taken to a local hospital in temporary serious condition. Investigators believe the two victims knew each other. Right now, police know little about the gunman. Very tragic, and we don't have all the facts right now. Our homicide team is here. We're gathering the facts. We need the community's help. There's been 244 homicides in Detroit this year. That's up 13 compared to the same time in 2020. According to the most recent FBI crime stats, Detroit remains one of the most violent big cities in the country, coming in second just behind Memphis. Detroit Police Department, we're doing everything we can to curb this violence. It starts with the guns. That's why our officers are out here taking guns, putting their lives on line every day to try to reduce this. But we have scenes like this, and like you just said, a 25-year-old girl has lost a life. Now, police say they've been able to talk with a few witnesses and that also uh, they've been able to get a hold of some video to aid them in this investigation. Even so, anyone with information about what happened here, please call Detroit Police or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP.